Aha, look, the microfiche are there in that tank. No doubt that air curious looking hermit crab is the infamous Dewey. Observe the way the troglodytes, though vastly superior in physical stature, cower in subordination to the hermit crab, captivating. Do you find the particulars of our arrangement vexing? You preserve the silent tranquility of my hermitage, and I provide your daily sustenance. Sorry, Mr. Dewey. It's just that one of them weird fishes was... Shh, too loud! Sorry, Mr. Dewey. It's just that one of them weird fishes was real magic -y. Incompetent fools! Those weird fishies weren't fish. They're interlopers. And you've let them parade right into my sanctuary! Oh, hello. Do not fret. Like you, my wizard friend and I wish only to discover and explore the marvels of the illustrious microfish. Silence! These microfish are mine to ruminate upon! Troglodytes! Earn back your pabulum by quieting these vociferous reprobates! Um. <sighs> Make the intruders go bye-bye, or you get no din-din. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> ah, it's mauling time!
feeding you tiresome troglodytes. Show that krill if you're incapable of mauling any and all that enter my sanctuary. We sorry, Dewey. Shh, it's too loud. We sorry, Dewey. Oh, all I wanted was a quiet underwater sanctuary where I could study obscure texts in peace. If I set the microfish free, will you go away? Of course, my good crab. You and I shall never find quarrel again, so long as you promise to never hoard the wonders of the deep again. Now, wizard, let us leave this crusty crustacean to his studies. We'll follow the unmistakable beacon of sunlight back up to the beach. Wow, that was educational, no? And behold, the pool now teems with microfish. Go on, cast a lure and check them out for yourself. When you are done, the Calypso will take you home, thus punctuating this most fantastic voyage. <laughs> 